What's up, Dominic community? I'm Lily Hevish, and today I'll be teaching you how to build the rooftop trick. So get your dominoes and let's start building. I'm really excited to be making a bunch of tutorials that only use 100 dominoes or less. I'm personally just going to be using 60 dominoes for this technique. I'm using my new 60 piece H5 domino creations with the purple and light blue. So gather all your dominoes and I'll teach you how to build the rooftop trick. The first step is to take your domino and place it upright facing you. And then we're gonna place another domino 90 degrees, but leave a little bit of a gap because we're gonna place this purple domino on top of it and it's going to hang over the edge of this skinny one that's facing you. So we're gonna actually put it on the edge of this domino as well as the edge of the other domino, like so. Now if you wanna be precise, I'd say that the overlap between this purple domino and the light blue domino right here is about one domino thickness. And the purple domino hangs off the edge of this domino by about one domino thickness. So the next step is to keep placing these support dominoes, which I'll use in light blue. And we're going to place a purple domino on top of it, as well as on top of this purple domino that we've already placed. Now the spacing is very important so pay close attention to this because when we place our domino we want it to overlap on the previous purple domino enough that it'll stay standing and it's not going to fall off early but we don't want it overlapping too much on the blue support. So see right here for example this would be a bad example because when this falls the purple domino is going to like sit on this light blue domino. We want to make sure that there's no room for this purple domino to get interfered with this other support. So we want to place the purple domino over the gap. And similarly, we do want to leave a little bit of space overhanging off of this purple domino again. So this is the basic structure of the rooftop trick. So all we need to do now is just keep repeating it and make it as long as we want to. Now you can even change the direction of the chain by just angling the domino very slightly. Now it's okay if it overlaps on half the domino underneath it, as long as when this purple domino falls, it doesn't interfere with the light blue one you should be okay. So just check that it's over the entire gap and you'll be good to go. And we could even split it off into two. So if I wanted to, I could put one here and I could also have one come off the other corner like that. And you can keep branching this off. It makes a really neat effect if you have multiple ones go off at once. Something that might help when you're building it is using one hand to stabilize the support domino, while at the same time your other hand places the rooftop with the purple domino, just to make sure that it's not going to fall over by accident. Now to get this trick back from the rooftop to a domino line, we're going to do a little technique where we place a vertical domino on the last rooftop and we're going to have it overhang just a little bit on the edge. Just be really careful when you're placing this last one because it can tend to be really unstable. I'd say this light blue domino is overhanging a little bit less than one domino thickness. So now we can make the ending line. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this purple domino as just a measurement tool from the far edge of the last standing support domino and place this next domino one domino height apart from edge to edge. So this is the same distance as if you were to make a domino wall. Now you can just place a domino next to it about one centimeter apart. And we're going to slowly and carefully lean this domino on that second one. And now we can just continue the domino line and the spacing again should be between one domino thickness and one centimeter apart. And now we just need the starting line. And there we go, we have the rooftop trick. This trick can be kind of risky depending on the types of dominoes that you use or even the floor surface. So just be aware that on slippery surfaces, it might be more difficult to actually build. But yeah, let's knock it down and see if it works. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. Now some of the support dominoes might still be standing and that's okay. That's just something that happens with the trick, but don't worry about that. It still worked. As long as it reached the end, you're good. So if we watch this back in slow motion, the domino line falls and then the first purple domino no longer has a support. So that falls over because there's more weight on one side and then the next domino doesn't have support. So it just keeps falling with these little tiles just like going down until the last domino tips over and hits the domino line at the very end. This rooftop technique can be used in multiple 
ways, not just with lines and split offs. You can also make triangles, you can make fields out of it, you can use different colors to spell out a word or make an image. You can really do a lot of things that you could do with normal standing dominoes in the same way with this technique. So get creative with it, have fun, definitely do some tests before making it in a big setup though. And if you do need more dominoes, I recommend my own H5 domino creations, which will work much better with this trick because the added surface texture actually helps the dominoes sort of like stick to each other on top. So it makes it a little bit easier and a little bit more stable when you're setting up the base dominoes. I'll link to these down below in the description or just go to hevish5.com slash buy dominoes. Thank you to Spin Master for making these possible. And I want to give a shout out to our featured community member, Makajo Domino, who has been part of this community for so long. Thank you for being here. And as always, I'm Lily Hevish and keep on building. Thank you.